guys, today we have another Baba Yaga story, in case you can't tell. She's one of our favorite uh, characters. She's a character from Russian folklore. What 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 is Baba Yaga? A witch. Mm, where she live? A house on a chicken leg. In the forest, right? So this is Baba Yaga. No, four chicken legs. And the wise dog. Four chicken legs. Four chicken leg house. Okay, Baba Yaga and the wise doll. A tradition Russian That's traditional Russian folk tale. Ooh, there she is. This is this this is this artist's adaptation or in interpretation of what she looks like. What's that? They are frogs. That's a cauldron, but they're special frogs with jeweled coats that she has with her in this story. Okay. Once there was a witch called Baba Yaga. You are truly terrifying, her trusty toads told her. Told her. Trusty toads told her. Ugh. I hope so, said Baba Yaga. That's what I'm here for. One day, Baba Yaga looked into her many ways mirror and saw what she saw. Too nice, horrid child, and very horrid child. And I can see who I will be visiting, who will be visiting me next in the very far, in the, in the near, very near future, she cackled. Even as Baba Yaga was cackling to herself, horrid and very horrid began to push too nice out of the house. We don't want you around, they said. You're too nice. Go away. You can't play with us. I know you don't like me, said Too Nice, but I can't always be alone. What shall I do? Go into the forest, said Horrid. Yes, said Very Horrid with a crafty wink, and visit Baba Yaga. Bring us back one of her toads in a jeweled jacket and a diamond collar. If you do that, we might play with you. Oh, you see those in the woods sometimes. So Too Nice went out into the forest she was all alone except for her one dearest possession. It was a doll given to her by her mother before she died. <laughs> now what? Too nice, asked the doll. It's unbearable to stay and it's unbearable to go. No one can stay and go at the same time, said the doll. Basil, stop, chill out. Put me in your pocket, listen to my advice whenever I have any, and let's be off. So off went Too nice with the doll deep in her pocket. And deep in the forest, Baba Yaga saw her coming. Look in the forest. There's all these creatures. You can see their eyes. Bats, wolf. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they just look like little bunnies. Or, or I can I have a head yeah. <laughs> No. Baba Yaga pulled her nose down and her chin up until they met in a terrifying crescent. It looked like a rooster. She called to her broom, cauldron, and all her toads. She told House to unfold its scaly chicken legs and to take them to meet the advancing child. Why does it look like a rooster? When two, she has chicken legs. The house is on chicken legs. No, when two like saw the house the running hair. toward her and Baba Yaga peering out from a chimney top, her legs turned to jelly. I can't do this, she said. Oh, yes, you can, said the doll from her pocket. Just go right up and knock and all will be well. So two nice went up to the house. Yes, squawked Baba Yaga in a voice like a rusty door. And what do you want, little girl? Oh, never mind, she sneered. Nothing is for nothing. If you want something, you will work for it. Then Baba Yaga waved at a mountain of dishes and a hill of dirty laundry. Do it all by morning or cauldron will cook you. Immediately, too nice set to cauldron. scrubbing and washing and ironing. Mm -hmm. But as midnight passed, she began to tremble. A cauldron is... Something you would cook over a hearth. It's a big like pot. Yeah. But that's oh, her basil. cauldron. It's kicking us. Her cauldron. But it is looks like it's alive. It looks like it's magical. Basil said to the doll. Yeah. No. I am cooked, she said to the doll. I can't do it. Yes, you can, said the doll from her pocket. You could do it in your sleep. In fact, sleep now and all will be well. So two nice curled up by the fire while the doll finished the work. In the morning, when the household woke up, Baba Yaga saw the work all done and was impressed. But she didn't show it. Instead, she waved at a pile of dirt in the yard. In that pile, she wheezed, is an equal amount of dirt and poppy seeds. Separate them by this evening, or my toads will taste you. Immediately, Too Nice got down to work. But as the sun started to drop in the sky, she began to quiver and shake. I'm tidbits for toads, Too Nice said, trembling. I can't do this. Not in one day, not in a thousand days. Yes, you can, said the doll in her pocket. 
You can do it with your eyes closed and your hands tied. In fact, shut your eyes for a while and you'll see all will be well. So Tunai sat down in the shade and shut her eyes while the doll did the work. Oh, don't take your shadow for the mm -hmm. When the household returned from the forest at the end of the day, Baba Yaga was impressed, but she didn't show it. Instead, she waved too nice toward the larder. In there is a heap of food. Lay it out for our supper, and then join us at the table. And when the food was laid, and when the food was laid out, and they all were at the table, Baba Yaga's eyes glowed like hot coals. Now answer me correctly or you will be my first course. What is it that you came for? Immediately, Too Nice opened her mouth to say a toad for horrid and too horrid, but she felt the doll jumping up and down in her pocket, and she answered instead, to get a good scare, of course, because that's what you're here for. This time, Baba Yaga showed she was impressed. She leaped onto the table and danced in turn with Broom, Cauldron, and the toads. That's the right answer, little wise one beyond your years. I don't see cauldron. How did you, how did you come to be so the wise and pass all my tests? Hmm. hmm, said Too Nice, feeling the doll in her pocket. By a gift from my mother. Well, gifts beget gifts, cackled Baba Yaga. And so box. she presented oh, Too Nice with one of her toads in a pearl-encrusted jacket, a diamond collar, and a long emerald leash. And when Too Nice led the toad back to Horrid, and very horrid, he wasted no time. One, two, he gobbled him up and then quietly hopped back to the forest. And too nice, not surprisingly, after all she had been through, stopped being too nice and became, well, just about right. And that's the end. And the moral of the story is if you're naughty, I will feed you to the jeweled toads. <laughs>